Hello everybody, my name is Arlene Green. This is my wonderful son, Jamar Hay. I am a single mom and we both serve here at Youth the Mission, Montego Bay. My main department is uh, hospitality. Another department that I work in is youth ministry. What we do is that we go to the school and we have what is called a reading program. I do enjoy reading stories to the children and just basically talking to them one-on-one -on -one playing games with them. I did my DTS in 2011 and I've been here since. Being here, we've, we've come to know God, still knowing Him and it's all about knowing God and basically making Him known. I will be doing one of our schools which is called the Foundation in Community Development School which is for six months. Three weeks of lecture phase and three weeks of outreach. We're looking at going to either China or Africa and then after that there is a school that we're having in Haiti called the Caribbean Equip. My heart is to work amongst teens that are broken, abused, who are thrown out of their house and bring them back to the God's promise for them, His plan, because nothing nothing from God was by chance. The family that they were born into wasn't by chance. So to basically to make them know this and find their identity through the family that God has placed them in that, their purpose within that family. So to also bring restoration to them and that family and not only there but from that into the community, from the community into the nation and then we'll have the widespread. I do might see myself working with them actually owning a home for girls such as these who've been molested, just whatever the situation means, molestation, drugs, whatever you can think of. So that's my heart and then I want to live amongst the honor each with my son, hopefully by then my husband. My testimony also, even just like how I ended up breaking my virginity and how I'm a Christian, I'm a single mom and just the broken heart of God where that was concerned and even me now even though God is still at the process of reforming me and um, restoring what was taken from me and I use my son for example how like even growing up by the age of 16 I had the heart or I wanted to have a child and just how selfish it was yes I was looking for love but in all the wrong places because the truth is that love comes from God and I was then again taking God out of the equation and putting a child there and how can I want a child when I can't support a child I can't love a child how they ought to be loved because I myself was looking for love so basically being real being real it is is what it's all about in order to be able to do this you know we have to be equipped so hence the school that I'm currently involved in are going to be a part of it's about getting equipped, getting ready for what, the fullness of what God has called me to. Here at Wawam, we are volunteer workers, which means we do not get paid for what we do. We believe in, we trust God to bring, to support us, as well as we partner with friends, family, and churches to, for support. We can't do this without your help, without your support. For me personally, I feel like the biggest involvement can be through prayer because then when you pray and you have a heart of obedience to God, then basically God can say to you, this is how I want you to assist. All of what I went through is so that I could be equipped to help someone else and the truth is, I did not know that. I always say, oh, why me, God, and this and that, and I don't want to, but then I am a living testimony of what God has done, what God can do, and the truth is that I am not finished. This is just the beginning of God, what God wants to do with me. This is just the beginning of God, what, what God is doing with me and for where He wants to take me next.